Good morning, my name is Renaud and I'm really pleased to see you today um, to be learning about what to do on your first day on the Hive blockchain. My goal for today is to help you focus on what to do first, how to start interacting with the blockchain and telling you that you don't need to be overwhelmed. There's a lot to learn, of course, it's a brand new world, but you don't have to learn everything right away. Um, you just need to know just enough to take the next action and to start interacting and uh, be rewarded for uh, participating in this community. Now, I imagine that what happened is that you got to um, this particular page or some, something like it that gave you your keys. And your keys are what allows you to interact with the Steam blockchain. You want to keep a safe copy somewhere you won't lose. So uh, it could be printed. Uh, of course, it's always good to have multiple uh, copies of this. And for sure, never lose your owner's key. Your owner's key allow you to change your password if ever uh, something bad happened. So what to do? Well, I would highly suggest, uh, once you printed this page, that you go get a tool, a, a Chrome extension called Hive Keychain. So you can say Hive Keychain Chrome. Yes, you'll need to use uh, the uh, Chrome uh, browser or Brave. And you go over there and download that extension and install it. It's fairly simple. All you have to do is to say add to Chrome here once you've searched on Google. Yes, we'll say yes, add the extension. There we go. And here you have your Hive keychain. Uh, this will manage your keys for you. So you don't have to worry which keys I should be using for different things. It's going to manage them all for you. So first thing to do is to create a password, something secure, but that you won't forget <laughs> and that you'll be able to quickly use. Um, so yeah, make sure that there's some caps and some, some numbers, uh, but simultaneously, yeah, of course you don't want to lose them, uh, forget about it. So that is going to be unlocking your entire, um, your entire wallet. So what to do now? Well, you can use keys and password, uh, use an authorized account or import keys. I would suggest you use keys password and you enter your username and the private key. So let me go back to this. This is, you can use posting keys, active keys, owner's keys, memo keys. Take one of them, put it in there. Let me go back here. Copy and paste. And uh, once you're in, you can add more of your keys. You can add the posting, the private, the memo, so on and so forth. So now that you have your keys, let me show you what to do. Let's go to Let's go to peak D. We'll uh, close without saving here. We're going to open this. And one thing you should know is that there are multiple websites and applications that runs on this Hive blockchain. What does that mean? That means that there is no single website uh, that owns anything. They only display what's on this uh, technology. So uh, one of the best app for desktop. Uh, one of the best website is Peaked, but there's also hive.blog. You can see here, we can go to hive.blog and it's simply a different interface. Uh, and there's a host of apps that you can use to interact with, with this. But let's keep it simple. Let's go here to, um, you have hive.blog, which is a different interface, but let's stay on Peaked. So now you have the Hive keychain. You're on Peaked, you simply log in, type in your username, 
and it will automatically open your keychain. Now let me unlock my keychain here with my password. And it will say, do you want to um, open? Yes. And it will sign in for me. Now we have this to keep it as secure as possible. Um, there's money attached to every account and there's a high incentive for people to try to hack your account. So this is why we, we had to create this technology to make sure that everybody who signs in doesn't get hacked and get their funds stolen. Now what? Now that you are signed in and you're on peak, where to go? Well, I would say go to Learn Hive. So you go to all communities. And if Learn Hive doesn't appear to you, you can simply search for the Learn Hive community. And it should show up for you here or somewhere around here. Now you can join a community and start posting. So what kind of post uh, makes sense? So the first thing to do, you go here, write a post. And here you are able to write something. So you can say um, introducing, you can write an introduce myself post. You know, you tell who you are, you post a picture, you tell a little bit about your story and uh, everybody's nice. It's, it's nice to see um, new faces to join the community. So how it works, you can um, say, hi, how are you doing? And uh, you can, you can use, if you're a little bit more used to, um, to, the different, um, you, have, you have HTML or you have Markdown, Markdown, the different ways of writing content online. And uh, yeah, you can have headings here, heading one, how are you doing? Uh, I am new to this, um, please help me. You write a little short description you can say a topic of introduce myself and there we go and you can simply publish and your um, your posts will be posted on the uh, on the hive blockchain in the community or uh, if you don't want to write you can um, you can simply interact with other people uh, or a post. So if you go to welcome to the Learn Hive community, welcome, we have a little introduction. You can, you can join our Discord for chatting and you can write a comment and respond to each other. One thing that's interesting to know is that if, for example, I'm taking um, one of these people who uh, haven't been, uh, hasn't been voted on yet, um, this person said, hey, I don't think your button is working. Well, okay, we'll vote. And let's say I'm gonna give him a 20% vote. And here it tells how much dollars is going to go to, um, to his account whenever I vote. So it's gonna be 15 cents for me. And it takes a little three second to a vote and it's gonna upvote the upgrade the value. It's eight cents. There we go. And this is how the Hive blockchain work. Now, if you want to have fun, uh, you can go into all communities and find a community that fits your, in, your, your interests into your design. You can have gaming, you can have uh, photos. Uh, photo feed is a great, uh, is a great community. Um, and yeah, that's as simple as that. Just start interacting. And whenever you have a question, make sure to go into LearnHive and ask us your question. It will be, we'll be more than happy to answer you. So thank you very much for listening and go have fun on the Hive blockchain.